you know, when I when I paint the seascape, we, we normally think of seascapes as, as pictures of seas coming towards us, you know, with, with a bit of a beach here and, and, and then the, the, the horizon line and the sea and the waves crashing. And I thought I would do something today with the waves going a different way. <laughs> so stay with me. I've got a messy palette. Let's see what we can come up with. Hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. Look at that palette. So it is absolutely unbearable. <laughs> because I've just painted and this painting. There you go. Or I should say, um, I just painted this painting. <laughs> and. Um, and I thought I was thinking as I was cleaning up, um, what can I do to 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 use the colours that I've actually got on the palette there? So I thought I'm going to paint a lot of sky today, but I'm going to paint this sea. Uh, I'm gonna, my horizon line is going to be quite low. I'm going to put on a horizon line in roughly there. That's just a guide for myself, obviously. But normally we'll we'll put a beach here, and we've got the waves coming in this direction. But what I thought we'd do today is have the waves going in uh, that direction. So on an angle. So that could that could lead to, to something like this. The beach could be the beach could be coming in there maybe. Like that. That could be the beach. And this could be the sea. And this all is sky. Well, I think it's worth having a go. Um like all my paintings, they're not pre-planned. It's just something I'd like to just jump into. And and I think that's a good way of learning sometimes because my, my paintings are, are developed around um, the beginner. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit of white just like this. And as I'm using the white, I'm going to bring in some yellow just like that. So I got the basic colours on my, on my palette today. Just going to bring that around like this. There we go, a little bit of white. My white is a little bit contaminated, but that's okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, my white is very contaminated actually. I'm gonna have to get some more white on my palette in a minute, but I'm just gonna just throw in a little bit of white paint just like this do, 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 do. a little bit of moisture on the brush S still got that tint of yellow that's okay it's got that tinge of yellow there there we are let's just throw this white in Hope I've got enough paint to be able to do what I want to do before I can dry this off. There we go. And then I can add a little bit more white paint to my palette. And we should be on a winner. So, as I've said before in many of my other lessons, that just have fun, just be loose, be free, let things happen. Don't plan things too much. Now, we can all plan things and do things photorealistic and accurate and, and stuff like that but mainly when we begin in what we need to do is just get paint on the canvas believe in ourselves and just relax into it and don't worry what it looks like worry don't beat yourself up at the end of the day you know you'd be surprised sometimes that the easiest paintings can be the most difficult to do <laughs> Trust me, I know. I know. I'm just put a bit of yellow just there like this. Just building up this wonderful essence of maybe a, a sky colour. There we go. Bring in some more white. There we go. Bringing that down there. Washing the brush. Got a bit too much yellow. Bit too much yellow. There we are. Just 
have a new sky area like that. A little bit of green, a little bit of green, it's not green, it's yellow, a little bit of yellow in the sky. Got that lovely glowy colour, that's what I'm looking for. Right, I'm going to dry that off, put some white on my palette, and um, let's see where we go from there. Okay, so I dried that off with a hairdryer. Um, I'm going to use a little tiny short flat, this is, uh, I think it's like a number four or something. I'm going to get some blue first of all, um, I don't want it too dark. I'm going to try and bring in some blue into the sky a little bit now and I'm using this very thinly and I'm dry brushing this in. This is what they call dry brush. You can hear it scagging across the, the gesso that I've got on there. Again, just trying to get that sky colour in. Very, very thin. And you can do this with, you can do this with acrylics on cardboard and stuff like that. I just want that ma hazy type of look into this sky. Maybe get a little bit of purpley colour in there as well. So I've gessoed the canvas with, um, I just used a little bit of titanium white. It's in a pot in there. I just put some titanium white in there. A little. Bit, I've got marble dust, but you can use um, anything you want. You can use um, chalk, powdered up chalk. You could use um, baking powder, anything like that. Anything that's got a bit of grip to it, really. Um, and I've just made it up like that, really. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more of this red. A little bit of red and blue will make a lovely purpley colour. And if you've painted with me before, you know, you don't paint clouds, you let the brush do the clouds for you. I love painting on, this is one of the reasons I like to paint on cardboard like this because it allows me to be able to use the paint thinly as well as thickly. You can get some lovely type of water effects watercolor effects I should say not water effects watercolor effects um, into these clouds brush. There's a little bit too much blue then. Just let the brush do what he wants to do. There we are. I'll just let that happen. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up too much. In there. So 
a wonderful uh, and create some wonderful skies, bit of purple and blue and things. I'm working a bit too hard there now, so I want to bring in that there. Oh dear me. Oh, look what I just did. That's not good. A little bit of water very quickly. I lift that off like that. There we go. I was a little bit too um, quick to. I don't want that. Maybe some. I'm trying to get this hazy type of cloud breaking through do, 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 do. let's get a little bit of that purple Of that sky there. How's that looking? It's looking a bit dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> let's get some, let's get some, we need to get some, um, light on these. Clouds like that. These are the bottoms of the clouds now I'm painting in. Top of the cloud, there we go. Toosh. I don't want to make it too hard. That lovely glowy type of hazy. Right, let me just clean my brush a minute. There we go. I'm just gonna just dampen my brush and I'm gonna brush that in. I'm just using moisture on my brush now just to blend this into the sky like this
really cloudy sky today that's for sure good way of practicing skies and clouds and you decide how many clouds you've got in your sky could be an uh, impending storm maybe Could be a little storm. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing paint on a canvas. I'm just hoping to see what happens. That's all I'm doing is just throwing paint on a canvas. And I've got no plan as such. No plan as such. I thought red and blue because we've got plenty of that on the canvas, haven't we? Let's get a bit more blue in there. There we go. bit of white to that Shh. I'm painting an arc we've got to paint on an arc let's get some more blue in there let's get some more blue a little bit of moisture some of that purple colour. Oh, that's nice. Let's add a bit more red into this. I want to make a nice purple colour. I want it to be my shadow colour. There we go. Who knows? I don't know. A little bit of white now. have fun just let the brush work for you let it do what it wants to do it's building up color it's building up color yeah, just add in just use whatever colors you got on your palette and just bring it in Maybe even a little bit of green. We could add a little bit of this green now into the water area. Just to change it up, just to change that flavour up, just to give it a little bit of difference. It could be like a Mediterranean water or something like that. I don't know. Most of the, the water around me is quite dirty colour. You wouldn't know when I swim in that. And I'm just building up a little bit of purple and blue and green. Green and purple work really well together because they're complements.
See different tones in that area there like that. Oh. Fill that cup in. Just go to town. Good nuts. Wanna see nuts? We've got nuts. <laughs> Bit of green. Maybe it's lighter there. Maybe it's lighter there, just like that, because the little sunlight. There you go. I don't know. It looks quite dark, moody now. <laughs> right, I'm just going to dry that off with a hairdryer. I've dried that off with a hairdryer, and I'm actually si I'm actually going to sit back. I'm actually sitting back and looking at that. I'm thinking, yes, okay, I could do with a little bit more light there. I quite like the sky. It looks flat and moody. Um, and that's what I really like about that. Um, what I could do, I'm thinking of it now. And as I said, I make these paintings up as I go along. So I've added a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of yellow ochre to my palette. And the reason I did that is because I want to I want to put a little bit of sand and stuff in. But I also want to put maybe... A little bit of land or something coming in there like this there we go let's just drag that down just like that maybe it's a coastline or something like that we're gonna we're gonna bring that in a minute there we go that's gonna be quite dark sitting against the bright background there maybe maybe it's a mountain or something there I don't know we're gonna bring that down like that there we go. Let's just, um, what can I do with that now? Let's just add a little bit of green to it actually. There we go. Maybe there's a land mass or something there. Rolling hill, mountain type escape. There we go. Just, just to block that up basically. Just to block that up. There we are. We don't worry too much about that. Tell you what we could do in a minute. I got an idea. Got an idea. Let's get some yellow ochre now. Bring in that nice yellow ochre colour down like this. Just block it in. There we go. Lock it in. Pulling that into the sea because that's sand. So you're going to see a little bit of that through there. Like that. A little bit of burnt umber just to give it a little bit of texture. I'm just blocking this in. In my mind's eye, I'm going to mix a little bit of burnt ember and black together. And in my mind's eye, we've got another bit, a bit, bit of rock or, or cliff coming down. Just like that. And that's just pulling down. into the beach there like that. That's a little bit of a an outcrop maybe or something. Maybe it is there's a few bits and pieces there like that. Maybe, maybe maybe, who knows? Maybe we got a bit of a a stone there as well. There we are. Could have a couple more there, couldn't we? Let me just get a smaller brush. Um, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. We could put some maybe it's quite a rocky beach this one. Maybe there's even one in the water there like that. Maybe 
Maybe that was part of a mount. Maybe that's part of the land that's been washed away into the sea. Worn hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. There we go, it's just but a few. Bits and pieces there and like that. It'll make sense in a second. <laughs> It'll all make sense in a second. Get some this light. Reflecting. Oops, ah, too much, too much, too much, too much. A little bit of light over there, I thought. There we go. could be all sand there, couldn't it? There could be another big rock or something coming in there. No, no. In front of that one, there we are. Quite a rocky old beach then. Bit brown. Let's get some white and yellow ochre. Oops, too much white. I want to put some light. Catch in on the sand area. There we go. Bear them down a little bit like that. Let's get a little bit of light reflecting on these rocks and things. Too much, just enough to emphasize there's some light going on in these rocks there, like that. There's a little bit of light catching on these rocks. Just like that. More yellow ochre, a bit more yellow, a bit of white. I want to lighten that up a touch. Maybe change the brush. I'm going to go for a little tiny, this is a little tiny short flat, a little tiny short flat. There we go. Look how tiny that is. Don't even know what number that is. So I just want to put some light patches here and there like that. Wow, I like I like that. I do like this actually.
That's quite nice. I quite like that. Quite like that. I want to get this blue. Wash my brush. And add a bit of water to this. Titanium white. It's quite opaque titanium white, so I've got to be careful what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna miss that dust down like that. A little bit of a little bit of white paint a very thin line like this you can use a mixing white for this but just like there's a little bit of haze coming in just on that water there and just hiding that mountain range just a little bit whoops too much oops see that can happen but we'll work with it and we'll just blend it in like that you know, just give it a little bit of a hazy colour. That haze around that mountain, let's just get some cloud coming in. Just down there like that. Bit of cloud coming in just here just uh, just at that little brightness and there you go You get the idea. I'm not going to do too much. I could spend hours doing that. I could spend hours doing that. I don't want to spend hours doing it. See how, how things can, all of a sudden you can <laughs> start fiddling with things and messing around. You can, you can just keep painting for hours and improving stuff. And it's amazing how you can just pick up some paint and with a little bit of knowledge create wonderful paintings I think that's what it's all about isn't it and it's wonderful having you in the studio with me I think I um, really do enjoy knowing that there's others now we've got to get this wash coming in a little bit of that misty don't forget the seas go in we got to remember the seas go in that way so just that little bit of thin paint that we did get a 
that effect that we got this C going that way. lesson less of that I'm trying to drag this this way now you're not going to see many breakers you because they go whoosh, they go in that way we're not going to see many breakers just pulling that in dry brush many many different effects you can have with 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 brushes so this is this is basically a dry brushing technique so let's get our white paint now let's emphasize a couple of these breakers not easy <laughs> this is not easy doing I, I don't think I don't find this easy to win something that you don't normally do I don't normally paint um, seascapes this in I normally got sea coming towards me but there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of um, foam not so much waves, but it's it's going to be a lot of a lot of foam in this water, isn't there? If you think about it, it's going like that. Maybe you can get some. Wave. Coming up in the water there like this. No, I haven't checked my cameras for a while. I just trying to. get these waves there you go that looks quite nice actually I quite I'm quite impressed <laughs> I'm really surprised <laughs> I really am <laughs> let's get them um, 
let's get some of this purpley color let's put a few shadow marks and little wavy lines in there let's like that I'm not going to do too many of these just gonna just put a few Just like that, see? <laughs> it's raining out there now. I can hear the rain hitting the studio. That's good. I quite like that. I'm just going to put a little bit of emphasis on some of this foam. Just like that. With a bit of thicker paint. Because you're going you're gonna to have a lot of that. You have a lot of this type of backwash as well, like this, a little bit of foam. You know, you can put all these patterns in yourself, see what you can come up with. Because there's going to be a lot of, a lot of that type of stuff in the water, isn't there? Because the water's going whoosh, like that. Maybe it's just a, a few little doers like this, there we go. I quite like that, you know. That's looking quite nice. Let's get some of this sand. Bed some of these stones in there. Bit of light coming in on that beach. Couple of seagulls flying in the sky. Maybe a few seagulls there. I don't know what they are. Could be anything, couldn't they? <laughs> Maybe not. Just get rid of that. There we go. I could tighten that edge up there, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that today. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to leave it at that and let you have a go. So there we are. That was an idea. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that one. Give it a go. Who knows what you can do with some paints and an idea. And um, test yourself. That's the thing. Test yourself. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like, comment, share, subscribe, click the notification bells and set it to all so you'll never miss an upload because I upload every Monday at 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time. So until then, bye. <laughs>